name is Billy Holland and welcome to The Conversation. Today's devotion is called, You Became Our Way. I love the story found in John chapter 12 about a humble servant's love for her Lord. Verse 3 reads, Then Mary took a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. You remember that Judas managed the ministry finances for Jesus and was angry about how the perfume should have been sold and the money was, could have been used to help the poor. However, we see that Judas was not the noble character or the, or the, the type of disciple that we would, we would think that he would have been or should have been. The Bible says he was a thief. And Christ knew he was actually skimming money from the treasury account. Jesus spoke up in this situation and said, Leave her alone. Against the day of my bearing hath she kept this. For the poor always you have with me, but me you have not always. You see, Mary was not intimidated by the criticism of the world because she was mesmerized in the holy aura of God's presence. She was not persuaded with what this realm considers logical and practical. She was only concentrating on the revelation of who Jesus was. Her personal relationship with the Messiah was her highest calling and nothing was more important than becoming one with him. This is a, a glimpse of, of how we can be delivered from embarrassment and fear when, when we become determined to live and serve God, whatever the cost. On the subject of worship, what can we give God that could express how we feel about him? Hmm. I'm always reminded of the fictitious Christmas story about the little drummer boy and how that all he had to offer the baby Jesus was to play a song on his drum. That show always gets me. <laughs> I always uh, get teary-eyed when I, when I watch that. I believe that all that God has ever wanted is, is our heart. Worship is not just singing a song to Jesus. It's about us demonstrating his character in our life. Remember Brother Lawrence said uh, many times the most powerful sermons are without words. Remember that? If we truly desire more of God, we must choose to deliberately pursue him. Spending time with Jesus is how we get to know him and Every day he patiently waits for us to acknowledge him and to make a determined effort to get alone with him. When all is said and done and we stand before his throne, our thoughts that we allowed him to occupy will reveal just how much he meant to us. Pure and love are not two words that we often connect together because much of what we know about love in this world is not always pure. We are flawed humans and realize that love many times has a slightly twisted angle or what is commonly called as an ulterior motive. Within our emotional dysfunctions, it's, co it's common to feel that we need to earn someone's love as we learn to exchange love and in order to receive it. However, the wonder and beauty of God's love is not based on how much we can do or how well we perform. He loves us with a pure, unconditional love, which means that even in our worst moments when we are unlovable, He loves us just the same. He became our way. And as our Savior and King, we are called to love Him with all of our strength, mind, and soul. Matthew chapter 22. 
When Jesus was on the cross, we were on his mind. And we will forever bow before him in gratitude and adoration. What more can he say? What more can he do? Brother Lawrence, whose 17th century work, The Practice of the Presence of God, details his determination to retrain his conscience to become so discerning that he considered everything as an opportunity to know and serve Christ. By allowing this concept of awareness to transform who we are, we not only have the wonderful opportunity to personally know Jesus, but a responsibility to mature and grow into a higher level of spiritual sensitivity to his voice. In this light, we could say the extent we are filled with Christ depends on how much of our will we surrender to him. When Jesus is invited to sit on the throne of our heart as our Lord and Master, this is when the awareness of his presence will go from an occasional event to a lifestyle. By the way, when is the last time you said, God, I love you? Hmm. This is a song that I wrote, and I also called it, You Became Our Way. I remember when you saw me and broke my heart of stone. Mercy and compassion as your love called my name. Now I worship you and will always be in your presence forever because the power in your blood washed away my sin and shame. and the life what more can you say you went to the cross cause you knew I was lost hopelessly blind without a chance to find any way to repay so you became my way Lord, you told us in your word how the angels rejoice but never a lost and searching soul is rescued and made new you willingly became the bridge of hope from earth to heaven delivering us from life to death so that we could live became our way, the only way, the truth and the life, what more can you say, you went to the cross, cause you knew we were lost, hopelessly blind, without a chance to find, any way to repay So you became our way The only way The truth and the life What more can you say You went to the cross Cause you knew we were lost Hopelessly blind without a chance to find any way to repay. So you became 
my way.